sitting up here all morning watching you fellas on your way to the GE meeting. Overhearing your conversations, too. Oh, <laughs> wow, you're right up there. Up a tree with me, aren't you? You know, leprechauns are supposed to talk a funny language. But you guys got us beat. I mean, all those initials. FPC, SEC, IOU. <laughs> well, still, it's nice to have you around. Kind of livens up the place. If you ask me, being up a tree gives you a kind of perspective. Go ahead, ask me. I get the proper perspective, sitting up there in a tree. I get the proper perspective, everyone ought to be me. You say, utilities, friend, are so ill at ease, friend. Well, a clear revision is coming through. It all depends on your point of view. Getting the proper perspective to base your behavior on. You can wake up in the morning, and lo and behold, the ulcer's gone. So needing the proper perspective, maybe you're lucky to be up a tree. With me in Williamsburg, up a tree. With me. When in the proper perspective, nothing is ever that bad. When in the proper perspective, nothing is ever that sad. You say utilities, friend, are so ill at ease, friend. Well, a clear revision is coming through. It all depends on your point of view. Getting the proper perspective to base your behavior on. You can wake up in the morning, and lo and behold, the ulcer's gone. So needing the proper perspective, maybe you're lucky to be sitting up a tree. So all things considered, maybe you'll agree that put in the proper perspective, Williamsburg is the place to be. A trip to the past, George. Ben Franklin. Maybe you could tell him some of your problems. George, I want to go. Please. Oh, you never take me anywhere. Magic. 
magic door will see the past. Hurry up, make it fast. The magic door, a world of art. On your mark, can we start? If you want to prove you love me as before. Ah, ah. Will I really meet Ben Franklin? Ah. And I'll be back in time for the meeting? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you two, I'm with you through the magic door. Uh, ben, uh, you don't know what's happened to this country since your day. I mean, for example, do you realize the confusion the SEC, the state commissions, and the FPC are creating for us? <clears throat> and what about flow through versus normalizing and accelerated depreciation? A penny saved is a penny earned. And how about competition from other fuels? Oh, you cannot pluck roses without fear of thorns. Oh, now that's my favorite. I can't wait to say that. You cannot pick, uh, pluck, um, oh, and it's so true, too. <laughs> I have a feeling he doesn't understand me. Relax, George. Let me handle this. Ben, I think I can tell you what George's problems are. Are you listening? <laughs> He's got a lot of trouble with the FPC. The poor UE got the FPC. And another bunch of fellas called the SEC keep breathing down his back. Let me put it to you that way, Mr. Franklin. Let me put it to you that way, Ben. Are you making contact? Can't tell yet. Wait, I'll try again. They tell him that he puts pollution everywhere In the fish down there, even in the air And the rising cost of money makes him tear his hair It's an ever-present lack Let me put it to you that way, Mr. Franklin You're the brightest of the wise old men Let me put it to you that way, Mr. Franklin Let me put it to you that way, Ben Let us put it to you that way, Mr. Franklin You're the brightest of the wise old men let us put it to you that way, Mr. Franklin. Let us put it to you that way, Ben. Let's try one together, okay? Okay. He's dealing with a public whom he makes see red. Don't go ahead, go back instead. And besides the beauty lovers who have also said they want a much, much smaller stack. And increasing competition with the other fuels and public power and local rules. And even in the industry, the different schools which take a different tack. Let us put it to you that way, Mr. Franklin, you're the brightest of the wise old men. Let us put it to you that way, Mr. Franklin, let us put it to you that way, Ben. We're getting through, and unreliability is all about. Don't breathe the word. They once blacked out. And then the cost of underground is much in doubt. So is the future bright or black. Let us put it to you that way, Mr. Franklin, you're the brightest of the wise old men. Let us put it to you that way, Mr. Franklin. Let us put it to you that way, Ben. Let us put it to you that way, Mr. Franklin. You're the brightest of the wise old men. Let us put it to you that way, Mr. Franklin. Let us put it to you that way, Ben. Okay, Ben. Now we'll take it from the top. He's got a lot of trouble with the FPC. The poor UE got the FPC. And another bunch of fellas called the SEC keep breathing down his back. They tell him that he puts pollution everywhere in the fish down there, even in the air. And rising costs of money, Mr. Harris, here it's an ever present black. And he's dealing with the public when he makes you red. Don't go ahead, go back instead. And besides, beauty lovers who've also said they want a much, much smaller stack. And increasing competition with the other fuels and public power and local rules. And even in the industry, the different schools would take a different tack. And then reliability is all about don't be the word they once blacked out. And then the cost of underground is marching down, so it's the future bright or black. Let us put it that way, Mr. Franklin, you're the brightest of the wise old man. Let us put it to you that way, Mr. Franklin. Let us put it to you that way. Ben. Let us put it to you that way, Ben. What I think you need is an inventive viewpoint, George. An inventive viewpoint. Yes, as you would say. Let me put it to you this way, George. Uh, go fly a kite. When things are taxing, you'll find it relaxing to go fly a kite. With that intention, who knows what invention may weigh in the night. When you hold the end 
of a string, all your problems are less. Somewhere on the end of a string lies the key to success. So if you're worried or harried or hurried, just go fly a kite. Life begins brightening, it hits you like lightning, my theory is right. There is nothing on earth to compare with the worth of a satisfying flying of a kite. It's relaxing to find it, relaxing to go fly a kite. With that intention, who knows what invention may wait in the light. When you hold the end of a string, all your problems are less. Somewhere on the end of a string lies the key to success. So if you're worried or harried or hurried, just go by a kite. Life begins frightening, it hits you like lightning, my theory is right. There is nothing on earth. Thank you. 